Hey guys and girls, uh, or ladies, I should say, uh, thank you for uh, tuning back in to this uh, journal vlog thing that I got going on here. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, this is something I try to do every day, and uh, I've only missed a couple days, and I actually missed this whole weekend, Saturday night and Sunday night. Today is Monday, February 8th. Um, Elise just left for work, kids are in bed, and so I finally get a chance to sit down and do my journal. Uh, I hate when I can't do it. I really, I miss the opportunity to be able to do this, but man, weekends are so tough, especially a weekend like this past weekend. Uh, Liam was here. He was actually here for a four-day weekend, and uh, so he was here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, most of the day today. Uh, and most of the day Friday, so that's that's pretty rare, and uh, and we just like to relish in that time and just enjoy that time, and then also Elise had Friday and Saturday night off, uh, which is uh, it, it it's not rare anymore. Her schedule is kind of back to normal uh, now that she's not working on the COVID unit, um, so it's nice to have her home again more, and then it's nice to see Liam. And then to see Liam for four days. So, hey, shout out to Liam because I know he watches. Bro, we had a great weekend with you. We love you and we miss you. And uh, wish you were here, pal. But we'll see you soon before you know it. And uh, and we'll kick it. We'll kick it some more and have some fun. Uh, so, that being said, I am not going to go back through the whole weekend and discuss everything that I ate. What I will tell you is that I woke up this morning, Monday morning, for my weigh-in. And I'm expecting some really high numbers. And... I weighed in at 397 pounds. So I lost uh, three pounds over the weekend. Uh, I, I couldn't believe it. So I weighed myself in again and I got the exact same number as 397.2. And so uh, there's that point two again. Uh, if, if you remember last Monday, I weighed in at 399.2. So wait, is that two pounds lost or three pounds lost? It's two, th 399. Point two to three ninety eight point two is one, so three ninety eight point two. Okay, so two pounds. So I lost two pounds, and you know that's I'm I'm totally fine with that. You know, uh, technically, according to my dietitian and my doctor, and even my therapist. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, but uh, okay, I'll come back to that. But according to my therapist, my doctor, and my dietitian, most people don't even attempt to lose weight before they have bariatric surgery, and so. I'm, I feel like I'm I'm ahead of the curve a little bit. I'm sweating. Sorry, I'm trying this this new light out. I think it makes me sweat. Uh, and it's 78 degrees in here. What? Somebody is tampering with the thermostat. Oh my gosh, it's like never this hot in here. Uh, I keep it at a balming 68 usually. <laughs> I love being cold. Uh, when you're when you're a big guy, you don't need a reason to sweat. So I try to keep that down. Uh, sorry, I got a text. So uh, I feel like I'm, I'm ahead of the game, ahead of the curve, and I'm doing really well. Also, I told my dietitian that, I, that I'm doing this vlog, this daily journal of how, like the foods that I eat and, and tracking my weight loss. And she said she's been in this business for many years and she's never heard anybody say that they're doing anything like that. And so she was um, impressed, I guess. And so, and, I, and of course, I, like I'm not doing it to impress anybody. I didn't know that, I figured this was something that a lot of people do because I see a lot of result videos and things like that on YouTube and, and Instagram and and uh, you know people their success stories and things so I'm thinking like this is something that everybody does uh, but she said she's never had anybody like start a YouTube channel uh, just for like food tracking and, and weight loss tracking so that's pretty neat that's neat <laughs> that's cool so hey I like doing it though you know and and it encourages me to lose weight. Um, I had my, my buddy Rob over the other day and he's, he's just pumping me up and, and he's excited about losing weight and he's got his own, uh, you know, goals that he set and, um, and not to put him on the spot. And maybe I already shared this in another video. I don't remember anymore, but, uh, he made, he mentioned it in the comments. So I feel like I'm okay to say this. He lost seven pounds after starting, after, after watching my videos, he said he, he's lost seven pounds. Uh, and that I, 
um, kind of in, encouraged that and, and helped him to do that. And so that's really encouraging for me to hear success stories. Um, and I've had a couple other people say, you know, like, what are you doing? Let me, you know, let me get on board with you. Let's do this together. And so that's, that's really encouraging. And that's what this is all about, man. That's what life is all about. Like, that's what we should be doing, you know, anyways, you know, we should be encouraging one another and helping each other to be better, you know? And, and if, and for me, you know, having a, like an eating, um, disorder essentially, uh, you know, uh, I've watched some videos and I felt encouraged by some videos and I felt discouraged by some videos. And I wish I had told those people that I, that I felt encouraged, uh, by their videos. Cause I, I, that means a lot to me. I just, man, that's awesome. You know, thank you, uh, Mr. Rob for sharing that with me. I really appreciate that. Uh, so back to the bariatric surgery, uh, I had my fourth and final, uh, therapy session. It's required that you have, um, they, they got to check your head out make sure you're in the right frame of mind to be having surgery and it's such a life changing surgery. And, uh, and she cleared me, my therapist cleared me to have the surgery. She said, uh, that she doesn't see any reasons why I shouldn't. And that she even said she's proud of me for losing the weight. And she even said that most people don't start losing the weight until they're like recommended to, or, or until they're not recommended. What's the word? Um, like you, you, like you have to, once you get, uh, I think two weeks before your surgery, you have to lose 10 pounds. And so people usually wait and I just didn't see the purpose in waiting. Like I know that I'm going to be losing the weight. So I just kind of wanted to hit it head on and, and my back was just hurting so bad. And so I'm thinking like how much better, cause it's like a 10 day recovery period. And so how much better am I going to feel you know, in my lower back, uh, if I drop a few pounds before my surgery, as opposed to after my surgery, if I, if I'm a little bit lighter going into my surgery, my recovery time may, you know, be cut down by a day or two, or it just might not be as rough of a, a recovery. So, uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping for is that I, I'm able to lose enough pounds to where my back is feeling good. Uh, my bones and joints are feeling good and I can, when it's time to move around, I'm not super stiff or sore because I don't, I'm not feeling bogged down by that extra weight. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm at a place where actually my, I'm able to walk around like a lot more than usual. Uh, I, I'm still having a hard time bending over, um, to pick things up and lifting heavy things, uh, pushing, pulling, you know, just the typical things that would kind of strain your back. I, I really, I'm not ready for those things yet. Uh, but I will be, you know, all things in, in good time. So, uh, what else is going on? I guess that's it. Today I'll, I'll I'll fill you in. So so I weighed in at three ninety seven. Today I had a breakfast burrito. Elise uh, pre made a bunch of breakfast burritos and they're fantastic. A little bit of sausage, uh, a little bit of egg, uh, a little bit of cheese, and that's really it. And, the, and then a tortilla. And so we use the um, what is the name of those tortillas? I thought I remember it. Is it? It's like to it's like to. To, tomorrow, but it's T O M E R O or something like that. I think that's it. And they're like 60 calories for a wrap. So we got the, um, the honey wheat wraps. Those are my favorite. And I think it's just like one egg, a little bit of cheese and some sausage. And man, that is so filling. And so I had that this morning with a cup of decaf coffee. I went the decaf coffee route, uh, still trying to drink tea at night, but I just went with the, the decaf coffee and honest, honest to goodness, I can't tell the difference if, from the decaf to the regular, um, or from the regular to the to the decaf rather. Uh, it tastes the same. Uh, I just I kind of feel the same. Maybe coffee just didn't have an effect on me anymore. Um, but it's it's a nice little cup of something hot in the morning, and uh, and it goes well with the the system that we have going on here. Um, you know the way that we get up and and start. To, start doing stuff around the house and getting going, you know, I just need, I need that cup of, maybe it's psychological. I don't know. I just, I need that cup of hot something in my hand. So lunch, I had another, um, taco. I, cause I love these, these, uh, honey, uh, honey wheat tortillas. Uh, so I had leftovers. We had tacos last night for dinner, uh, for the Super Bowl. Uh, we had nachos, tacos, uh, soft tacos, hard tacos. We had ground chicken and we had ground beef. I went the ground chicken route, which I don't know if I've tried too many times. 
Uh, but man, it was good. It was just, I think it was better than the beef, honestly. And, and I think, and it was, it's lower in calories. And so I went with the, uh, the ground chicken and I had those little boats and they're about that, they're about that deep. And they're like, they fit, it's like two bites, you know, for this boat thing. And it's like four of them for 160 calories or something like these little boats. And so I put a little bit of chicken in it, a little bit of cheese, uh, sour cream, guacamole. And it was like one side was the guacamole bite and the other side was the, the sour cream bite. And it's and it done, it was like two bite tacos. Fantastic though, loved it. Uh, and that was all I had for dinner last night. So today we had some leftover chicken and beef. Uh, no, we had just chicken leftover because the kids liked the beef. I was the only one that liked the chicken. So I had chicken uh, and I just made one taco um, and it was the 60 calorie tom tomorrow or whatever the, the brand is. I have to look that up. Uh, taco shells, tortilla shells. And uh, so I just had a little bit of chicken, a little bit of cheese, and that was it. So it was just the three ingredients for lunch. And it was a good, it was a good size. I mean, it was, it wasn't a Chipotle size. I mean, it was like rolled up. It was, you know, like, like an egg roll, maybe a little bit bigger than an egg roll filled me right up and I was good to go. Uh, no sides, nothing like that. Just, just that for, for lunch. And then, uh, going into dinner, I had a thousand calories left. So breakfast and lunch only took about 500 of my calories. Uh, so going into dinner, uh, we ordered sushi again, uh, from that place called, um, Cask and Co. It's up in Lansing over in the Frandor shopping center area. And, uh, man, it is so good. We ordered, uh, actually I ordered, um, one sushi roll. What did I get? I got the yummy crunch. Uh, and, uh, it's, it was, uh, eight, eight pieces. And then I got the, um, the pad thai bowl and, once again, guys, I'm super proud of myself for this. I cut that pad thai bowl in half for two reasons. One, sushi the next day just doesn't taste as good, right? Sushi the day after is like, uh, it, it's like slime, right? So I wanted to eat the whole roll. I wanted to eat the sushi roll. And I really wanted that pad thai too. And, and normally I'd get like two or three sushi rolls. So one sushi roll and then a half a bowl of pad thai. Now the pad thai is, you know, simple ingredients again. It's just the uh, the egg noodles. Uh, and and it's uh, it was chicken with the peanut, right? And it's got the sauce and pad thai is amazing. And I think it was the first time Elise ever had pad thai and she loved it. She kept wanting more bites. And I'm like, no, that's my other half for tomorrow for lunch. So that's what I'm gonna be having tomorrow for lunch. Um, it's a little high in calories for the whole thing. I think it was like 850 or something like that. So the half was like 425-ish. Uh, or 416 or something like that. So that's what I'll have for lunch tomorrow. So it'll be a bigger lunch, but it's so good and it's so filling and it's not too unhealthy for you. But I'm proud of myself for cutting that meal in half. Uh, if you guys don't cut meals in half and you think that you may have an eating disorder or you, because it's psychological, you know, like you, you, when you can't just go to McDonald's and just get a burger, you got to have the fries too, you know? And that's just so not true that's like our like that's like our i don't know if that's an american thing or just like the way that we're raised like we think we got to have a side with everything and you don't uh you can enjoy technically i should have probably cut that sushi in half and half and just like let aiden eat the other half because he loves sushi and then it wouldn't have gone to waste but man it was so good i i loved it uh it was spicy it had spicy salmon in it or a spicy spicy crab oh excuse me that's a i burp I'm a man. Men burp. So do ladies. You burp too. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, 14 minutes. I got to wrap it up. Uh, I miss doing this. I miss um, journaling the past two days. Just so busy. Gosh, I, I just couldn't fit it in. I think I actually did fall asleep Saturday night. Like, I was the first one to fall asleep. When Elise is here, uh, I, I, I can sleep better. And so when she's home from work, it's like, I know the kids are going to be able to get tucked into bed and, you know, they'll do their reading and, the, you know, she'll take care of all that stuff. And so like the, you know, there's no pressure on me. So it's like when she's got a day off, I kind of got a day off. And so I think I, I think Saturday night I fell asleep at like 10 30 or 11 or something like that, which is not typical for me. Uh, 
But anyways, I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Be kind to somebody. Kindness, man. Uh, it it could really it could really change uh, somebody's heart, somebody's whole day, somebody's outlook on life. Just one act of kindness, one random or planned act of kindness, could really uh, just just change somebody's whole life. And uh, I've I've been changed through multiple acts of kindness uh, that I've seen over the years. And, uh, and so I try to give back. And, and this is one way for me to not only vlog, blog, log, journal, whatever I'm doing here, uh, but, I'm, but I'm also trying to give back to the people that I love that I can't be with right now. There's, there's people, you know, due to COVID, due to, um, you know, just the miles between us, you know, this is, this is a way for us to communicate and, and I and 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 also I just want to share a little bit of my story in regards to just you know you never know what people are going through you know some people go through some harder times than others and you know you just got to be nice just be nice to people be kind that was a really long be kind speech uh please be kind to me don't judge me too harshly on my be kind speeches it just means a lot to me that everybody just loves on each other, and uh, yeah, and so, speaking of, oh man, real quick, my dad called me the other day, and I don't know if he watches these, and, and uh, but man, it just, it, it means a lot to me to hear his voice, and he just said, you know, I was thinking of you, and I have a really hard time picking up the phone, I don't know why, it, it's not the way I was raised, I, I think it's, I just do, these days, I, I don't know, I don't know, I have a hard time picking up the phone. And so I even told him that. I said, thanks for thanks for doing the hard part for me. Thanks for picking up the phone and calling me because you were thinking of me. Because I think of you all the time. And I, and there's a lot of people that I think about. And I just have a hard time picking up that phone. So I don't know. I got to get that fixed. Oh, Elise is calling me. Love you guys. Be safe. Be kind. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.